All right, so we are discussing finding an agent. So you heard me mention it briefly in the publishing section. <clears throat> and it, for the traditional publisher or the one who wants to be into traditional publishing, you have to find an agent. And this is very important. Do your research. You have, they have a book out guide to literary agents. You should get that. You should look at writersdigest.com. It's a huge website for writers. Go on it. It's very informative and they list new agents all the time. Definitely find an agent who is looking for um, books in, their, in your genre. You know what I mean? Because these are the people that are closest to the publishing companies and the film industries. This is who you need on your corner. So that brings us to the query letter. The query letter is a big deal. Huge deal. It's your first selling point when you're trying to find that agent. It's the first thing they read about you and it needs to be engaging. You have to follow their guidelines. Different agents have different um, submission requirements. But usually the typical submission requirement is a one page query letter, they need your synopsis and generally they want to see like the first five pages of your novel. Some may ask for 10 pages, some may ask for the first 50, the first three chapters. Though That's where it becomes different but usually for the most point um, they want a one page query. Now in this query letter you have to talk about yourself and your book. Huge. And you have to make it engaging so that they want to read that manuscript because everything hinges on that in your query letter and there is an example in your handbook that I have listed please feel free to use that as a guideline when you're working on your own query letter you they want to know your background if you have a background in writing even if you don't have a background in writing play up what you know and what you're good at that's just as interesting if you do have a background in writing list your publications they want to know what you've written they want to know how it did. They might want to know the reviews on that. So be proud of yourself. If you have five novels done, say you have five novels done and don't be afraid to say how they did. If they made a newspaper, if, you know, someone talked about it, you know, if any media was done on it, mention that. Um, you definitely want to put a synopsis of your book in that query letter. Once again, it has to be engaging. The synopsis, of course, is usually what's on the back of the book like the cover or the back the back of a paperback or the inside of a jacket cover that type of thing whatever will engage your reader they want to see this they want to know will i pick up this book that's what they're looking at they're looking for something to pique their interest something different a unique voice it's very important spend a lot of time on your query letter go through a couple drafts get it edited proofread all of that you don't want any mistakes they're looking for them because most of them are english majors and they know what they're talking about okay get it get it edit it and